What's going on guys, Bashar Ketu here. Today's video will be talking about reviews and how to get them in 2018 after Amazon dropped their new rule and all organically. So be sure you guys stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon a seller from beautiful San Diego. As I said earlier, we'll be talking about reviews and how to get them organically after Amazon dropped their new rule just about a month ago. So as many of you guys know, Amazon updated their reviews policy and how you can obtain reviews policy as well as cutting down and taking down a lot of reviews from other listings that have been literally selling for you know months, years, and there are even some sellers that have been selling for decades. And they cut down a lot of their uh, reviews because previously, as many of you guys know, who are private labelers, uh, you know, many, about two years ago, uh, there was incentivized uh, reviews where you actually gave away products in order for you to get reviews. And then after Amazon took that rule down in 2016, you know, people would still seek out uh, other friends and family to leave them reviews. And then there was the whole story behind the unverified reviews. And actually in my course, I do talk about, you know, how you should get unverified, about three to five unverified reviews in, there in the first couple of days until you get some people buying your product and getting you some verified reviews however that even started you know Amazon started attacking some of those sellers and I know many sellers that lost thousands and thousands and thousands of reviews and a lot of you private labelers out there or people that are looking into private labeling started breaking out and everybody started saying that Amazon FBA is dead you know uh, or private labeling is dead you know there's no more chance for you to start because it is very competitive you know, you can't even get reviews, and as many of you guys know, in order for you to actually, you know, uh, rank in, in Amazon's um, algorithm, you need sales, you need reviews. Now, we can still do giveaways, but the reviews is a little bit more tricky. Now, here is the bad news, and here is the good news for us, right? So, the bad news is that it is not as easy to obtain reviews, and you need to be very you know uh, 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 kind of unique or you need to have a unique method in, in getting your reviews uh, because Amazon detects a lot of things that we used to do before and I myself I have four private label products right now selling a little over 100 units a day I've lost over 30 reviews in the past about four to six weeks okay however my ranking is still the same now the good news is that the actual competition and the market is actually going to open up for us and that's one thing I need you private labelers and many of you guys wanting to do private labeling actually understand because now the products that let's say you know like my criteria says you know 300 and plus sales price 18 to 35 and a review 70 and below and many times I would see products that have you know very high sales like 500 700 thousands of sales However, the reviews are very high. Now, the good thing is that Amazon took down a lot of their reviews. So now, those products that sold a lot, but was a little difficult for us to actually get on the first pages and get some sales and compete, was impossible before. It is making that possible now because a lot of those reviews are down, and now there's actually possibility for us to go into those, uh, uh, you know, those products and try to compete, you know, and also. The second good news thing is that um, now the ones you know that actually know how to make it happen, the sellers that actually can figure the code out are the ones that are actually going to stay at the top and everybody else is going to start falling down. Because it did come time where it started becoming way too you know competitive. People started launching products left and right. It was just making the comp you know competition very high. Although, you know, many of them did not know how to rank their products, you know, in the first pages, but everybody knows how to run PPC. And then, you know, I started noticing in the past six months or so that PPC uh, started going up, you know. So in order for you to show up on the first pages, paid per click advertising started being a lot more expensive. You know, some of my products went from 50 cents per click to 70 cents to a dollar, dollar 20. So even though some of those sellers didn't even know what the hell they were doing but everybody knew about PPC and then they just would pay more and more and more so that made it a little bit more difficult for us that knew what we were doing to actually stay at the top so that's the good news about it now how 
do I get or how do I still get reviews and how do I still you know manage to maintain my reviews count because I do say that you need to get on average three to five minimum reviews per week whether they are organic or you are just getting them from you know friends and family whatever the case may be one thing is attaching a thank you note that is something that I have tried very recently that a lot of my students are doing and it helps drastically not just you know uh, 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 getting reviews just the whole experience altogether sometimes you know it's like when you go to a restaurant you know and then you had to wait let's say you know an extra 15 minutes or the food came a little bit overcooked or undercooked or something but when your server is attentive when your server has a very nice smile on them and they are just you know giving you great customer service you know your experience altogether changes you know although the food wasn't great and sometimes just in case let's say if it's your first product that you're launching or you never got a sample and you just had your set you know your product head from china to amazon and then you got screwed by your supplier um you know what happens is that thank you note not only will get you reviews organically but also will change the whole atmosphere and the whole uh you know the whole experience of purchasing your product because they will feel the customer will feel that you care about them you know second thing Facebook groups work. All my giveaways, I get them from Facebook groups. All my reviews, I get them from Facebook groups. Make sure that you're not going for unverified reviews anymore. No more unverified, only verified. And then also when you're first launching your product, let's say you know, you're know you selling and giving away, let's say five to 10 units a day. Don't get five to 10 units a day, you know, uh, I mean reviews a day. Let's say make the ratio about one review to every 10 or 20 sales. So every 10 to 20 sales, get one review, you know? And that should not be very difficult for you because the target should be at least 10 to 20 units a day anyways. So we're talking almost a, you know, a review a day, if not a review every other day. And I know many of, you know, wholesalers and, and, and arbitrage uh, sellers are saying, well, you know, this makes it difficult for private labelers and now you can't get reviews and stuff like that. But listen, let's get straight here to the point. We're not looking for products to have hundreds and thousands of reviews those are not even our criteria so we don't even need to worry about that we're only looking to get 10 15 20 30 reviews in the first month or so in order for us to start ranking you know what i mean so we're only looking at products that have 70 or less you know reviews so we really shouldn't be that difficult getting reviews anyways but facebook groups do work up until now utilize them a lot of times they're being cracked down on but there are a lot of review, uh, uh, great uh, Facebook groups out there they can utilize. Also, another thing is, you know, make sure that the seller or the buyer that or the seller, <clears throat> if they are a seller, because a lot of times what I do is I'll find other sellers and then we'll buy each other's products. Try to avoid that. If you do find someone that is a seller that will buy your product, make sure, understand one thing. This is something you really have to put on your brain. Make sure that they are using a buyer's account that is not associated to their seller's account and that's one trick make sure that their buyer's account is not associated to their seller's account meaning that they have created a different email address for their buyer's account than their seller's account and another thing that would be great even it would be even like extra protection if Amazon or I mean if, if this the buyer of your product created you know both uh, uh, accounts the buyers and the sellers from different IP different IP address. So let's say they created their seller's account from their house and then their buyer's account from the library down the street or they went down to Starbucks or whatever, you know what I mean? This is just kind of extra, like taking it really, you know, being very precautious, but make sure that you are very, you know, uh, concerned and you are very precautious, very cautious about, you know, how to get your reviews and who to get them because you don't want to get, uh, 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 you know, you get your um, account suspended for that, okay? So if anything, what Amazon is doing with the whole crackdown, Amazon is actually making it even better for us. Listen, private labeling is never going to die. And one reason, for one reason and one reason only. Last year, Amazon did $177 billion. That's what that be. In 2018, they're, a point, you know, they're accounting to do about $200 billion in, in revenue. 45% of that revenue comes from third-party private labeler sellers, which are me and you guys. So do you really think Jeff Bezos and his team are going to do something to harm our business or to stand in our way or to even, you know, maybe even cut us out of the blue? That's not going to happen. And that's one thing I really need you guys to understand. Private labeling is never going to die, okay? 
because it is something that literally makes up almost half of Amazon's revenue. So don't freak out. If anything, this is something good for you guys. So thank you notes are great. Facebook groups, make sure that the, the person that's going to be uh, reviewing your product, you know, that their uh, the buyer's account, seller's account are not associated, not the same email. And if they can make it from different IP addresses, that would be even greater. And just be very cautious. Once again, that will make you guys even, or give you guys more opportunities because a lot of the big sellers they have a lot of reviews. Their reviews have dropped drastically and now gives you guys the opportunity to go ahead and even get more products. So guys, once again, best shark to hear Amazon will be a seller from beautiful San Diego. If you guys have any questions, would love to hear from you guys. Drop them in the comments below. Also, I do, uh, I post three times a week. Please let me know what other topics you guys want me to talk about. If it is something that I've never talked about in my channel or if it is something that, you know, Maybe I don't even have experience about. I will do my research and share my knowledge and experience with you guys. The first link in the description is going to be to my mentorship program if you guys are interested in that. Second link is going to be to my Facebook group that I truly think you guys should join. I have nearly 4,000 members in there. And among my students there are other you know, FBA sellers from all over the world. And my, uh, uh, my actual uh, group isn't just private labelers. I have you know, arbitrage sellers, I have wholesalers, I have all kinds of sellers, you know, it is called Amazon FBA sellers worldwide, okay, so it's literally people from all over the world, it's, you know, all FBA, and I, I even have a few FBM, there are a bunch of freight forwarders, there's a bunch of suppliers there, so it's a great resource for you guys to actually, you know, join and be part of, it's a beautiful community, I really, you know, would love to see you guys in there. Also, if you join this uh, 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 or not join. If you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and smash the uh, the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel as I post uh, three times a week about Amazon FBA and other topics as requested. Guys, once again, your boy here, Bashar um, Ketu from, um, from beautiful San Diego. If there is anything you guys want me to talk about, share your comments below. Let me know exactly what you guys think. I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all have a great day and thank you much for being so awesome. Take care.